Despite my discoveries and quests for knowledge, I am held back at every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists, and that group of degenerate toadies that I sit with on the board. If I were rid of them, my word would be God. My word. Not the word of a corporation. Still, they have their uses. The research is funded by Kane, and the Groom Lake is kept running by the money and the personnel they provide. But the time will come when all this changes. You mark my words. I am inundated with emails from all departments about inconsistencies, with storage and contaminated samples. This grand masquerade is sometimes more tedious than it's actually worth. Worst of all was Dr. Wei, and that technician, Miss Callister, is it? I'd normally make short work of such troublemakers, but it hardly seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble, because if they disappear, that legitimizes their claims, and somebody will always take up the fallen crusader's torch. Dr. Backman's tendencies are becoming harder to restrain. I'm well aware of his shortcomings. The old man is as brilliant as he is deranged, yet manages to go about his work in sociopathic glee. He is useful to have around. He has requested more bodies for seed, specifically more women who were recently pregnant. That is problematic, as we've seen, or we have very, very few such women on board, and imports are not easy to come by. We may have to play this one under the radar. That fool Dr. Gray complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of the power outages. So what? Let them spill out into the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand to one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time. A fact, a little fact he's unlikely to tell anyone, although he does seem quite happy to, to contact anyone who's interested with the opinion that he be the next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you did not, could not handle what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you are as great a fool as I imagine you to be. When the day that I foresee comes, your rotting corpse will be under my feet. And I will laugh. Dr. Williams is under the delusion that I don't know about her personal research. Officially, it is illegal for staff to conduct their own research. But this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid? How fascinating! If it works, I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then it'll burn with the rest of the rejects. The woman is obsessed, and I know that De Santos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secret research won't cause me any problems, or I would never have allowed her on Project C. So it seems contaminated waste from the corpse disposal overspill is contaminating the ship. It's causing fungal growth, or so my various drones tell me. The fungus is a riveting proposition. <clears throat> a riveting proposition, though. While I'm angry at Dr. Backman for terminating more subjects than strictly necessary, these unintended side effects are fascinating. I, in I intimated as much from Dr. Gray to Dr. Gray, and of course he stroked his ego with hints and, and or hints at promotion and glory. He'll keep the fungus alive, the engineers wanted to destroy it, but, we, but I'm sure we can delay that. This experiment is becoming more engaging by the day, and I haven't even had to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and roam burns, I plan to play the violin. We're more than secure here anyway, and this has a certain inevitability about it. I must record the daily developments as the experiment grows. 
It is as I foresaw, panic, destruction, and mayhem. And yet Seed continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of detritus and repurpose all of it for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine, my friends. I am God. My beautiful children have excelled themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal species without any of the trappings of morality. It's their time now. They almost came to be once many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of its natural successors. This systematic experimentation was given a name, the Eugenics Wars. The public knew it as a corporate warfare. In truth, it was a coordinated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for the Professor Jaren's astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I came in. I spent most of my time as part of Dr. Kane. Or as part of Kane. Trying to access Professor Jaren's original work. Old man Kane pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal. The utilization of science for the perfection of humanity. Where we differed were the methods by which this was to be achieved. <laughs> Not that he had much more to say after I held that pillow over his face as he lay in his hospital bed. All for a higher purpose. Creation of our subjects from raw subjects will become impossible now that he... Now that the crew are dead, dying, or unclean. <clears throat> but that's hardly an issue. <coughs> Any subjects who are flawed or imperfect have been turned into the fertilizer that will nurture the perfection of a surviving race. Now the challenge is moving the Groom Lake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape this ship alive. Any good, strong survivors will become members of the new race. I am the creator. I control. I transcend. De Santos. I'm so very disappointed in you. A distress signal? I thought we were one mind here in Seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. Your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide from me, Marvin. You drug-peddling little fuck. Oh, that was a lot of reading. Robert Lincoln. <clears throat> I've been reassigned to dis or I've been reassigned to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists and employee of Dr. Milan. A strange matter to be sure. I've been observing the movements of some of these eggheads. I can't say I'm too impressed. I can't say I'm too impressed. Doesn't anybody around here record their comings and goings? Or make any notes? There's no traditional organization in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody. This I know. But I thought these scientific types always made notes. Not that I care about admin, but I very much care about finding out who's selling weapons grade secrets. Industrial secrets are a matter of life and death. Especially death, in this case. My investigation will be thorough, and no stone will be left unturned. The staff here are strange, and in fact, I'd say lots of them are even crazy. But I couldn't care less about that. I just want names and answers. I got my job because I get things done, not because of my warm and caring personality. At the moment people are taking umbrage to my investi investigation, at the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is a constant and essential part of shipboard life, especially when we're taking about and when we're talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, 
but it seems, based on the modified records I've found, that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man would assume that these two were the criminals, but I don't buy that. As far as suspects go. I've ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. Charlotte, because she doesn't know where she is half the time. And DeSantos, because he's just smirking, or he's just a smirking shit for brain. I'm confident that he's involved in drug dealing, and I will give him this. He is cautious, and acts like he's a real ladies' man. But I know the truth. I've seen him rejected repeatedly at the bar. Since July, I've had to operate under the pretense that I am an assistant. It's lucky that in my career, I had some emergency room experience. The only other person who knows about my true purpose is Dr. Milan. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation, and at times, he's a little over-helpful. Still, seems honest enough. For the record, I'm well aware of the kind of man Dr. Milan is. I've seen his experiments with my own eyes. I've seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of, and I've er, and the burning fires of the furnace. But he does what's required to justify the means. There are few men in this world who will do what he has done. For that, I admire him. He's told me to watch over Dr. Williams' experiments. It seems they're unofficial, and although I prepared a report to Kane to have her removed from her position. Dr. Milan immediately overrode the request. I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. Backman of all people was sniffing through or er, sniffing around today. It seems the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Milan for their instructions and he told me to incapacitate the old man. This I did. Shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, I was hoping to slit his throat, but Dr. Milan insisted he remain alive. Alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm revisiting my earlier opinion of that DeSantos character. I still think he's pathetic little shit, but I know, or but I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur put up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with DeSantos soon. But first, I've got to monitor his movements. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. Dr. Milan, em, er, Dr. Milan earmarked me for one of his experiments. I know this, because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to Kainford, I discovered that my access was restricted and blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Milan waiting there. He was waiting with two of those hellish creatures that he's created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I'm currently awaiting what he calls processing. I suppose at this stage, I suppose at this stage, I should make peace with God. I have killed many men in my life, and I'll never say that I feel remorse for it. And I won't give Doctor Milan the satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last notes on this affair are that Dr. Milan himself is at the heart of the events on board this ship. I was blind to it. I refused to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought that scientists liked control, but Milan breaks the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, missing scientists. I'm beginning to suspect he even knew Do that DeSantos was actually selling intelligence and may have fed him the information to sell. To what end, I don't know. I suspect it was because the Santos kept Backman drug to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he happened to have so that Backman could continue his work. I can hear the machines being turned on. I welcome my fate. At least I know I did it, or I did my job for Kane Corporation. Well then. I keep doing this because I'm not sure whether there's any achievement for reading all the PDAs, and I don't want to lose one if I die. <clears throat> hmm. 
So keep in mind, though, I have not forgotten that, um, that one of the birth hosts was his wife. Maybe not, there's already a power cell in there. Hmm.
Subject termination. So is she one of these three women? Okay, maybe I do take this one. thinking that I was going to shut this off. I'm out of drink, what do you bet? Why do I suspect that laser can still kill them?
Okay. Warning. The environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. I'd run straight into whatever that green chemical is. Oh, is there nothing I can do here at all? Okay, then I guess I'll go this way. Abnormal neural activity detected. Yeah, I'm starting to think that my guy's infected with whatever the fungus is. I'm gonna take a pause here and be right back. I will not be long at all. 